probably get up to speed, but that's that's just fine. So a million seven for that. Put that right on the steel supply train route. Okay. So we got that going on. Let's have a look at our let's let's go ahead and set things in motion here. We'll get it on high speed. We're trying to build some some stuff here. We'll have a look at that train in just a little while. It's going to have to waste its time and head down that way. And we got to start building up some steel here anyway. So. See you. Here we go. Hey, everybody. It's Matt from the Rattle Bunny's Den. Merry Christmas to everyone. Hope you're all having a wonderful time. Welcome. I'm glad you're here. Um, if it's after Christmas, I hope you've had a really good Christmas. And uh, we find ourselves here in Ophir, Colorado again. Uh, we're going to be working on a few things today. We're going to try and figure out how to actually start making a good, reliable profit here. Um, at least at the start here. We're going to look into um, doing something with the steel that we're making. And um, probably um, hook up uh, the uh, machines factory up in Montrose. Uh, to the trains, but we're, uh, we'll, we'll see where we go from there. Well, listen, if you guys haven't subscribed, go ahead and please do that. Um, that way you can keep up with the series and all the other series that I do. Uh, planning on going back and uh, possibly doing some gameplay of Stellaris. Um, it's an older game, but it's a lot of fun. Um, otherwise, let's get started. Uh, okay, first thing we need to do is take out a loan. I'm going to take all of it out and we're going to hit pause. Now, we have steel coming in from here, or we could have. We're making steel. We're sending coal and all kinds of stuff there. And uh, the only things that we've done since you guys were here last is we added a passenger line down here to Rico because uh, we had a, a demand going on there. And we added some more... Uh, trucks to, or I'm sorry, horse uh, buckboards, let's call them, to um, some of the other lines. So let's have a look here. Now we've got steel. We want to use steel. And there's the nearest place is right up here, Montrose. And the way to find that out is to click on here. And then you click on uh, your consumers there. Turn down my headphones just a skosh. Wow, that was loud. Okay, so you click on Consumers and Montrose Machines Factory and Lake City Goods Factory. Now, Lake City Goods is, it's like way over here. We're not going to have the money for that for a while, but Montrose is doable. So let's, uh, let's go ahead and do that. And what we're going to do is we're just going to peel off here and get these tracks in first. We're going to double track all the way like, like we, we usually do. And we'll just peel this off over this way. And we'll peel this one off and snap it to it. Now let's head over here. This is our machines factory that we need to get steel to. So um, we only, we're only going to use one train to begin with. So we'll just put this right on the end of the road. That works. And okay. So now we grab these tracks, just head out over this way. It's a nice level valley. It's had millions of years to fill up with silt and make itself nice and level. And then, okay, double track this. I noticed in the, in the last video, I said we we're gonna try and keep our turn radiuses at 33 miles an hour. I, what I mean by that is we're gonna try to keep our um, our slowest turns to a minimum of 33 miles an hour. Um, I just think 28 can be a little bit tight for some of the bigger um, stuff when you get a little further on down the road time-wise. Okay, so here we go with this. Let's get some signaling going, because you never know, we might double up the trains at some point, which is why we're double tracking. So these are gonna be one way. One way coming this way, and about here, we'll do two. Uh, here we'll do two more 
and then we're right here we'll get that one let's uh let's bulldoze this one and we'll put another one here that one's already protecting over there okay so that will get steel there we're gonna have to build a train so let's see here let's um first let's set up the line I'm gonna go from here to here and that is going to be um let's see rail um Montrose. No, because it's not coming from Montrose. Ah, I'm sorry. Let's call that OPH. Steel. Supply. Okay. So we got that set up. Now we have to build a train. Let's get that taken care of before we do anything else. Trains are expensive. Uh, we do not need the big... Uh, the big grunt, Camden Amboy. Uh, we're going to go with the American, I think. Well, let's have a look here. Um, to move steel, we're going to need flat cars. So, let's see here. 31 and 40 miles an hour. That's 35. Okay, what's the price difference here? 261 each, 43 a year. 203 each, 33 a year. We're going to go with the slower ones. Um, yeah. So let's get our American on here. And we will go with the slower of the two. Let's do 49. Yeah, let's do 49. Keep it on mediocre. Throw a caboose in there because, you know, got to what's poor about the stuff here well we're not going to be going anywhere that's got a slope so that's fine it'll take us a while to get up to speed but that's that's just fine so a million seven for that put that right on the steel supply train route okay so we got that going on let's have a look at our let's let's go ahead and set things in motion here We'll get it on high speed. We're trying to build some some stuff here. We'll have a look at that train in just a little while. It's going to have to waste its time and head down that way. And we got to start building up some steel here anyway. So having a look at our, our routes. Um, let's see. I know these are going to stay full. That's pretty full. That's full. Not bad. Looks like we're doing pretty good. That one's completely full. Hmm. I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and uh, clone a couple of these. And we'll put them on that. Okay, so now we've got steel delivering up here, right? And the train is gonna go all the way up here and it's gonna come back empty. And that's not really a good deal for us. So, what can we do with this? This Well, we need, what else do they need up here? They need lumber. Okay, we can do lumber. We got a logging camp here, and then... All right, well, we got a lumber mill in Rico. And there's another one over here in Delta, but that that's a long route. We already have the track laid here. All we have to... Okay, we're going to just plumb this one in here closest one there's another one here we end up needing more we can always truck it in so let's go ahead and do this i'm gonna hit pause just so we don't mess up any trains and let's see here got a million two to do this with i don't want to do anything too drastic I'm just gonna pop that in there Okay, and we're going to end up destroying that one, I think, because we're going to have to peel off pretty quick here to keep our 
our radius to where we want it. All right, let's uh, let's peel off here. What will that do to us? 34, 33 minimum. That's not bad. Uh, but that's not what we want to do. We want to go up from this side. So let's try that again. Okay. 34, that's even better. Okay, so let's go ahead and build that. Now let's see. Do we need to double slip that? Let's come in up this way. He's coming this way. I'm not going to use that to do that. And then he's coming back this way. He's going to go down there, and then he's going to need to get back over. No, we don't need to double slip that. This one, this other one, we're going to need to double slip. Let's find a end of this. And let's see where we can get that on there. I think that will slip. 43, 35. Like we said, it's faster, so that'll work. Bang that in there. And then we got to do some signal magic. This is a long enough stretch for our train, so we'll put one in there. Put another one here and one over here. I'm not going to put one in here at all because we might have multiple trains and that can cause problems. And the station itself kind of acts as a signal. It'll hold the trains and so on and so forth. So uh, we got that one there and that one there. That's protecting this. So I think that's all set. All right, so we're getting to modify, let's modify our route. So we're gonna manage the line. And then after he's on his way back from Montrose, he's gonna stop in here. All right, that looks like it's gonna work. But he's complaining, and this is no longer steel supply. This is, uh, Rail. Now it's Montrose. Montrose. Machine. Um, production. I can think well. I can. I know I can. I can try anyway. Okay, so now we got machine production because we got logs coming back this way. So we're pretty much going to have to add in a truck. Stop down here in Rico. Like I said, for those of you catching this one for the first one, this is very loosely based on the Durango Silverton area of Colorado. Um, I am well aware that these towns are not anywhere near the right positions in some cases. Um, so it's just for fun. All right, so let's uh, let's get a truck stop in here. Let's um. Let's start out with a longer platform because we know they're going to need it. And we'll just pop that right in there. All right, now, start up instead. Ugh. New lease, old tongue. Okay, set up our route. It goes from there to here. Now, where did that put that? Okay, now. Fear sightings, you want to be a number two. There we go. The way it's got its own dedicated platform. Um, the way you route things through platforms and so on and so forth will determine how well your station uses the storage area that it has. Oh, I just noticed we do already have some steel. Okay, so this is going to be... This is going to be Rico. This is going to be trucking... Rico, lumber, production. Okay. So we got that. Now we need to buy the vehicles for that. Um, It's a fairly long drive. We want to keep the supply of lumber as good as we can because we're going to want to fill this new train as, as quickly as we can. So... Let's go ahead and do that. Let's buy more buckboards. Let's do 12 of them. It, it sounds like a lot, but let's do it. It's only 286,000. And we will put them on the trucking Rico line, making lumber. All right, so that's all set. Now let's just think about this before we get it going again. So we got 
Logs coming from here are going down to Rico to be made into lumber. Coming back over to here, and we already have a train going up here with flatbeds that's going to carry the lumber and the steel to make the machines. Now, what are we doing with the machines? Well, if we look at our town, we're interested in goods. Fuel. Rico. Rico will take machines. Oh, that could be good. Okay, Rico will take machines. I don't know if we can afford to do anything about that right now. And But we need a local place up here. Oh, Montrose will take machines. There we go. All right, so let's set this up real quick. Pop a truck stop in there. Um, and I, we only need a drop-off location in town. Let's try and hit... See, these are all our commercial sites here. Let's try and hit them all as best we can. It, well, okay, that was easy. Right to there. Okay. New route. From here to here. And this is going to be trucking. Um, Montrose. Machine. Delivery. Okay. Now, what I was excited about is we already have a train coming up here. And this is making machines. We already have buckboards down here that are picking up lumber or uh, logs and taking them down to Rico. So they could easily pick up machines as well because they'll carry everything. So what I want to do now... Uh, well, first I gotta buy buckboards for this little endeavor here. Um, we are gonna need a deep a road depot. We'll put it sort of outside of town here. Is that straight? That's straight. Enough. Five vehicles. We're only gonna need. Um, <clears throat> let's go with three for right now. Seventy-one thousand. Oh shoot! I bought the wrong ones. Sell those. Pay attention, Matt. Gotta pay attention. Okay, 71,000. Put those on the Montrose machine delivery. So those are set, and that's set. We have 390,000 left. To see, I don't know if we can put a boxcar on this train for that little. Let's manage the vehicle, edit it. Oh, we can. We can. Okay. We are going to... Because it's already on pour. Let's remove one of these. We'll add one of those. We'll do this at the end. And let's... Let's put this one like third car back. Just to change it up a little bit. Okay. Oh, that's not too bad. Let's add, an let's add another one. Why not? It's it's going to be poor anyway. It's a, what what's it do to us? Still about three minutes to get to top speed with the route we're playing. We're dry. Yeah. There we go with the whole tongue thing again. Um, that's my theory. You know, you you get a lease when you're born, and you're not expected to know how to use your tongue until, well, all right. Well, I guess I'm 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 at that age. So yeah. Okay. Anyway, let's go ahead and do this. Alrighty, that changed up our train. Awesome. And, okay, so let's get this going again. We'll go high speed again. Here's our train. It's not bringing anything back, but that's fine. We're going to ride along this one. And let's just have a look and see. Sorry about that. I've been told that sometimes I move the mouse a little quick and it can make people feel kind of not good. So yeah, this is, uh, not sure which valley this is. I know both Ophir and Ure are in their own separate canyons. Um, and the actual Ophir is a lot smaller. Oh, it didn't go get logs. Okay. Oh, you know what? It's because it already had its it already had its marching orders to head back to town, so that's fine. Is there an ore train? Oh, 
Alrighty, and there's one other thing that we're going to want to do. Let's manage the line a little bit. We're going to want to set this up. Actually, hold on, let me pause this again. How much do we have? We don't have much, do we? That's going to take its sweet time doing things. I'm thinking we might need to expand Ophir. Um, luckily, all we need to do is add a track. That's fine. So all we do is add a track, and then we got to add a way for the train to get on the tracks. That shouldn't be a big deal. Let's see what we can do. Okay. Still gives us a little bit of room in case we get longer trains and before we can upgrade the station. All right, how does this look? That looks good. We're going to need to double. Oop. <clears throat> Got to actually accept it, Matt. Wow. I haven't done that in a while. All right. 33 is the minimum speed, and accept it. And then we got to double slip this. And as you can see, the double slip just kind of adds a way for it to get onto two separate tracks in a very short period. Uh, these do actually exist in certain places. I haven't seen a whole lot of them. I think I saw one once on one of the subway tracks in Boston, but that was a while ago. It's been a long time. Anyhow... All right, so this should work. We got to let this train go through its cycle, or we're going to confuse the heck out of it now. So let's uh, let's let it do its thing. It'll pick up some steel and take off. And now we need to manage the line because we need to tell it when it comes back to a fear that we want it to use the new track, and we want it to wait until it has a full load we're gonna give it a minimum of 10 minutes to start out i think that just needs to happen okay so let's just uh think about what anything else that we might need to do until that train comes back and we can see how things are working out uh oh we have oil here a lot of oil here. And we have stone. I think next time what we might do is hook up the stone and the line down here to Cortez, where we can pick up coal as well. Because our steel plants burns through a lot of coal, so we get those two. And then we'll have access to the oil down here too. Or the, or the oil refinery. Oh, there we go. Oh, we got all kinds of fun stuff to do. Is there anything over in this valley? No. Uh, Durango is on its own and doing fine right now. Right now, we're just going to be concerned with this little area. So. Okay. How are we doing? This is train one. Train two, you can see the, you can see the smoke coming it's on its way back and that'll be a good thing uh, one of the things that we we will do eventually is we'll a lot of people don't like the way the the trains uh, go backwards like that I have a mod that makes them do that because in reality in a train that on a line that it ends at both ends there's really no inexpensive way to turn a train around so they just reverse uh, which is fine there it goes in to pick up wood, and there's plenty of wood there. So we ought to get some wood here, and that should stack up on here. Hopefully. And hopefully by then, these other buckboards that we sent down this way will be on their way back. Looks like they are on their way back. All right, good. So that'll work. Uh, totally lost my train of thought there. Uh, at any rate, we got uh, lots of things going on, and it's uh, Christmas time, and 
I hope you all are having a great old time. We're going to check out what this train does for us when it pulls in. Load of logs. Oh, yes, I was talking about the way the trains are turning, not turning around. Um, what we'll do when we do set up a, a main line at the e either end of the main line, if it comes to an end like this station does, there will be a turnaround loop. So the trains will, at that point, begin to run forwards all the time. It just takes some time to get there. And when you have a limited, limited resources and limited space to set up your, your trains, it takes a little bit of time to get that set up the way you want. So, all right. So he's loading these boxcars. I don't know. Let me think. Well, he's going to wait for a maximum of 10 minutes anyway. So, and we did get our logs over here. So that's working. All righty, let's have a look at our lines again. Showing a profit in most of them. Our trains are the ones bringing in the bucks. Who's having trouble? Machine trucking, because there's no machines yet. And our lumber trucking, because they didn't have lumber when they left. Okay, so that'll work. That'll work. How many are here? All right, we got some bringing some steel, which is good. And still not all. How's our coal doing? All right, we're just going to leave that be for now. It looks good. I think we'll be able to make a pretty good profit. We're starting to get some earnings in there. And then we will start paying back this loan, which is always fun. Oh, I had the date paused um, just so we could handle this for this. We'll get the date going forward again. Uh, I'm Matt from the Rattle Bunnies Den, and I will catch you next time.